Hello everyone, myself Rashi Kawad and today I am demonstrating you kind of HM management system software aka TGMS software. This is what exactly the uh, dashboard you will get with the software. I'm just, right now I am using a master admin which can as allow me to give the access to the different uh, role and as per the as per the necessity. We'll let, I will explain this later at the later stage. Okay, let's move from top left to right. Here on the first step, I'll get a I button that is sent for help by the click by clicking this button, a automatically it manually will download it to your system, which is which you can use to understand this software more smoothly. Now, next three tabs are for the number of SMS remaining or you have used during your campaign. Campaign can be for acquisition, campaign can be of marketing, campaign can be of giving some extra discounts, or campaign can be used while uh, in your retention part. So these are the st these are the number three tabs giving you uh, exact stats related to your campaign or remain cam campaign message remaining in your account. Now the next six steps are used by your front desk executive or your or as a gym member, the gym owner to manage your daily tasks like first tab is for add member here your different as executive directly add any member to your gym which can minimize their you know going in these tabs and adding some member which definitely reduce your time the third, second tab is for add inquiry suppose uh, you walk in inquiry suppose you uh, your front as executive have some walk-in inquiry or on-call inquiry Just he or she can directly add the inquiry by clicking this tab third one Suppose some members you are old or weekends the biometric is not working, you can directly add their or your staff members attendance by clicking on this tab. The fourth tab is add user. Like if you want that to you add any user, you can add by using this. Okay, user is stand for your staff member here. The third uh, fifth part, fifth tab, fifth tab is, is for expenses. Here you can add any expenses, like for an example, Jimana is not available and in his absence or her absence, a front desk executive have to pay some amount. And a unwanted uh, expense come suddenly or accidentally. So, but if front desk executive pay a certain amount by taking it from the gym's account of wherever she manage or he manage, he can or she can add the particular expenses from here. And then the last this tab is for scheduling. So you can you can schedule your gym members detail or their gym timing here all right okay so uh, this is how the, this is the exact header of the software where you can manage some easy tasks from here now come to the left part of the software here we got dozens of options different with the different utility first at the top of this uh, left uh, of options we got a dashboard dashboard is a dashboard is a place where we got collective information of every stats related to our gym total member total number of like member total number of membership expired total number of collection all details we will get from this dashboard let's take a brief look on this dashboard here we got some uh, all collective reports here we got a report of membership expired in two days seven days in a month or in a year Number of collection we will have we will gonna have today in the next seven days in the next month or in the next year. Or we these are the collective information, basic information of our gym which we can have on the same panel. So we don't need have to go in the report section and manage or comes to a you know going through each and every report one by one. We got all information here by one. When we click in on this, we directly redact it. We will directly redirect it to the particular report. Okay, now move to the next option available in the software. This is the master. This will be uh, this is the master. As I already told you in the beginning of this video, that I'm using a master admin. Okay, so uh, by using this master admin, I can make some changes in the app software, like uh, like edit the organization detail, role management. Okay, this is what. It definitely a good thing okay here like uh, role manager stand for like uh, suppose we are about to add any role in our gym okay every gym have different roles or different staff members if your gym have a physician you can add his role and number okay if your uh, gym have a zumba trainer you can add his role all right so let's take an example of receptionist i have to add a role of a receptionist in my gym 
so I simply put this receptionist tool here and here I can control their access what kind of access they can have so okay I don't believe that receptionist should have anything to do with the diet plan so I will deselect it okay and the workout plan I don't believe as you know uh, the uh, reception have nothing to do with the workout plan so we unselect it and okay so here we tap put the submit button and it will be a defined rule okay so this is already a uh, role is assigned so this says that we can make a duplicate here okay move to the next point unit management here we can manage the units okay that at title stage when we uh, take the weight of a member if we assign him a type we have to use some units so we can add some units from here like giving some type plan in grams or in kgs so this will help at that time text management text management is help uh, us by okay suppose we are in a kind of state where we have to give some extra text to our organi uh, by our organization to a specific government body we can add that kind of text here uh, here in india we are paying 18 percent of gst so it is already added in this demo account move to the next that this is the sms template all right uh, from tgms and you already got some sms template templates pre-written but you can add some more template edit these template and do you can just customize it as by your way so that that will be help you to retain your user or to engage with your users okay now next point is user management all right here you can add in user like before that in the role management we assigned a role we create a designation in our software or in our organization here in this user management we assign him the particular role like let me add an user i'll use a branch manager here let's take an example like my name is harsh so here i have to mention email address let's take an example of hrsh and here I can add the username, password, the password, addresses, month, mail, experience, number of experience, maybe incentive. This can be done. This can be done by uh, you know number of uh, incentive you will have. Would like to give your this one membership incentive like uh, um, like someone is at front as executive. You would like to give him some membership incentive if he or she can word any membership inquiry into a member. You will definitely give him something. You can add their photo, ID proof, different kind of things. Here also you can give them uh, the roles and responsibilities, the access of their access of their dashboard. So this is how you can add any user to your system or your software. Here it is a batch management. Batch management is kind of uh, batch management is a kind of place where you can add some different shifts in your, in your gym. If you would like to add any particular batch or particular timing in your gym, you can add it from here. So it is quite quite simple. First, you need to add any branch. You have to insert any batch limit, number of batch limit, and you can add the time of the particular branch here. Move to the next point. This is an audit trial. Here, you can simply audit the lo logs of your existing staff member in your project system. You can see when they when they have logged in the software and what they have checked in the software. Next point is inquiry tab. As an ad master admin, you can check the inquiry tab as per the role of the staff member. Okay, now next point is the customer customer category. Here you can add any customer category. Simply add any customer category. Let's take an example of uh, just give me a second. Sorry. Okay. So you can here you can add any customer category which can help you while adding any customer in your uh, gym while any you adding your any member in your gym that will help at that point of time with number of things of budgets are the price and so you can give some kind of discount if someone is trend you can also give him some discount if someone is regular regular coming to your gym you can give also some discount and next plan is corporate if someone is not corporate you can give them a corporate plan okay you can add it by your end that is totally customizable okay workout category here you can add some workout category as per the availability of your gym and as per the trainer available in your gym simply you can add the workout category from here you have to mention the name and just submit the particular branch of the event here you can also create some event uh, category 
Okay, so what exactly these category means and what exactly these three last three tabs are used for? Okay, at the time when the executive or a trainer or a event planner or your manager will use while creating the particular event or workout or a customer, they can use these kind of category while creating their profile, while creating the event or while creating the workout session. All right. Now, next point is plan master. Suppose now it is quite again the same thing while creating a member you have to uh, when you are adding any member in your gym you are adding any customer in your gym you will add, mention the particular membership plan you would like to have so here you can customize the entire plan let's go for this plan let's take a plan name of uh, three months 